Hey everyone, it's DC here and today I'm going to be solving the capture the flag CTF on Try Hack Me. So this CTF is called Capture the Flag. It's a CTF that I've created myself actually on the tryhackme.com uh, website and it basically just goes through a whole bunch of different uh, hashes and encryption methods uh, that you have to decrypt and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Um, we're on the site here, tryhackme.com forward slash room forward slash capture the flag written in elite speak. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it here. I'll start my uh, timer. Um, now I'm just going to do uh, task one. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do another video on task two. How many tasks are there? Two, three, four, and five. I'll probably do two as its own one because that's quite a large one. Three, four, and five. I'll uh, I'll probably do them all as one. So straight in. Where are we at? Translation and shifting. Translate, shift, and decode the following. Answers are all case sensitive this one I don't even need to think about it too much can you capture the flag yes yes I can uh, okay next one is uh, very obviously in binary now I'm going to use a website here uh, called cyberchef and let's go straight in there so binary from binary which is, that's the input, this is the answer, and obviously what that translates from binary into text from. Uh, Cyberchef is a really good website. Um, I'll put a link in the description, but it's it's also on this Try Hack Me page under the description uh, somewhere. So, yeah, let's try that password out. Is that gonna work? Yes, it is. Okay, number three. Now you can see this is this looks pretty random, but you can tell by the little tail on the end uh, that it is a base encoding. Um, now I I know from experience that that many little tails is base thirty two. There we go. So base 32 is super common in CTFs. That is correct. It is super, super common. Um, almost as common as base 64, which looks like this little guy here with the two tails. Um, depending on what you're putting into base 64, like if you were to encode something into base 64, um, sometimes it only has one little equals or tail on the end. Um, for a string that's pretty short like this, so the answer was obviously quite small, um, it's going to put two on the end. So I'll just clear that out, change that to base 64, and oops, what have I done there? Bake it, bake it. Oh, fuck, I put. Did I put base 62 in there? Ooh, whoa. I think I've frozen it. Wait, no, we're good? Okay, base 64, there we go. Each base 64 digit represents exactly six bits of data. Or data, as we say in Australia. Next one, number five. Lots of numbers, lots of numbers, some letters in there, which, um, the letters are a bit of a giveaway on this one um, because if there's letters it usually means that it is <coughs> excuse me a hex so that is correct hex or base 16 um, it's just called hex everyone just calls it hex all right this one number six there is a little hint in here uh, which is this number here, 13. Um, some things don't translate 
uh, when you encode them and one of those things is numbers for ROT13. So let's put that in there. Let's see what it comes out. Rotate me 13 places. I did and I now have the answer. Correct. Whoop whoop. All right, number seven. This one's a bit tricky, um, but you can tell by the special characters and that it's all uh, in uppercase that it is another type of ROT, um, and it's it's not like a randomly shifted ROT. You can tell on this one because it is all capitalized, and that there are special characters that it is. ROT 47. You spin me right round, baby. Right round 47 times. Let's throw that in there. That's definitely the answer. Alright, next one. Super giveaway. Um, I don't know what I could say about this apart from uh, sounding it out. So we'll go beep, 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 beep. It's Morse code, right? It's a, it's a damn Morse code. Let's throw it in there. Morse. Morse me up. Morse me to the moon and back. Telecommunications encoding. Um, still used in the military and especially uh, Navy. They, they love it. All right, this one. This looks super similar to this guy up here however you can tell the difference is that there are no letters in number nine which means let's go to here to clear that let's put it in as if I could type decimal boom unpack this BCD unpack it Unpack the flip out of it. There we go, done. Now what in the hell is that big load of text? Um, the giveaway on this is that. That's how you know what it is. It is base 64 uh, for the exact reason I said before. Because there is so much input going into this one, it's got a lot, it, it's only going to put one little tail on the end. So base 64, boom. Oh, and then the output has gone to Morse code. Now the good thing that I really like about CyberChef is, um, and you can actually download a local copy of this to your computer if you want to decode stuff on the run without an internet connection. But the thing I like about CyberChef is that you can Put them in one after the other. So we've gone base 64, it's come out as Morse code. Morse code has gone to binary. Binary, where's my output gone? Oh man, I put it the wrong way around. From, ooh, whoa, wee, whoa, whoa, oh man, I, I stuffed it. Hold on. Base. 64, I broke it guys, I'm sorry. To Morse code. To binary, oh, I'm losing my voice, no good. From Morse code to binary, to from binary, I didn't break it, I just got confused. Oh my God, here we go. That's gone to ROT, oh, flipping out. Cancel. Bake it. Two. Decimal. How many more have we got in here? To decimal. So there we go. We got the answer. It's, let's make this trickier. So we went from base 64 to Morse code to binary to ROT47 to decimal to text. That's, a, that's pretty hectic. And that is... The end, task one is completed. Beautiful. 
there we have it guys. Uh, challenge completed, task one of capture the flag, uh, which is, I did mention my own CTF that I put on uh, Try Hack Me, but um, yeah, I just wanted to sort of do a little write up walkthrough of it to um, help you all get through it. And uh, to try this, this video format out, I wanna see how the solving uh, CTF videos go. The challenge was completed in a total of nine minutes, 31 seconds and 87 microseconds. Um, I expect for a beginner for that to take around uh, 10 to maybe 20 minutes, um, depending on how much you know about bases and uh, how brute forcey you are with typing in those uh, encoded messages into CyberChef or something like Hashcat if you wanted to use that instead. As far as challenges go, I'd say this one is very beginner level. Um, it is a bit of fun though. Uh, I really enjoy decoding messages. And uh, yeah, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, if you wanna ask me any questions uh, or just have a chat, uh, jump on Discord. I'm on there pretty much all the time. So I'll see you there guys, catch you later.